Hi, I'm Kevin, a speech language pathologist here at Super Duper Publications, and this is the processing program, level one and level two and three. These are the second editions of these books, and we're going to use language webs and altered auditory input to improve communication. These books will improve language processing skills while also improving understanding of critical language concepts that are important for classroom success. With these books, we use fun, colorful picture plates with corresponding directions that are of increasing levels of difficulty. Now you'll notice in level one, which is the blue book here, there are a few things I want to point out. We're going to have the summary of the AAI technique. Now this is going to be where we actually adjust our speed of presentation of material. We'll also have a pattern of pausing and even using different uh, aspects of prosody when we're presenting information to the students. This is just going to provide a quick summary as to the implementation of these techniques. We're also going to include a home practice letter and we even include progress sheets so you can measure the student's progress during these different sessions of activities. Now, level one is going to target 46 basic concepts and vocabulary. This is also going to include nouns, singular and plural, pronouns, size, color, quantity, prepositions, and conjunctions, and all of these are going to be targeted while using the language web frameworks. There are also going to be 32 sublevels for level one. Now, some of these examples will include items such as this will be level one, sublevel two, and it's going to tell us our concepts that we're targeting. So, in this case, it will be noun plus noun, and an example will be touch the bead and the frog. So once we've uh, started with the example item, now we're ready to work with the student on our stimulus items. And of course you see those are going to be listed one, two, three, and four on the clinician side of the page. Now the student will look at the four different pictures and then we'll ask the prompts. Touch the bead and the frog. Next, touch the mouse and the ball. Touch the frog and the mouse touch the ball and the bead. And this will be a way that the students will listen to the different instructions and of course respond accordingly. Now increasing the difficulty here, now you'll notice I've turned to the page where we have level one, sub-level five, and each level, sub-level, will have 10 different plates for instruction. So that way we can uh, keep everything organized and have our base 10 for each sub-level activity. So with sub-level five, we're targeting noun plus noun plus noun, but the first item is the same. For example, here we have touch the balloon, the bead, and the shoe. So you'll notice here with one through six, each of the first item listed, each one is the balloon. So now we have touch the balloon, the cup, and the airplane. So again, we'll show this to the student. So the student will have their plate here with the pictures on it. Touch the balloon, the cup, and the airplane. The next one, touch the balloon, the book and the mouse. Touch the balloon, the shoe, and the ball. And this will continue throughout this plate activity, but you'll notice the first item is the same. As we move up in difficulty levels, now we'll just go up to sub-level six. Now you know it's changed just a little bit. So we have noun plus noun plus noun, but they're all different this time. Our example, touch the dress, the sled, and the ring. So once again, we'll show the students the picture plate. Touch the duck, the frog, and the sled. Number two, touch the cat, the button, and the bead. Number three, touch the dress, the sled, and the ring. So you'll see this is just going to increase that level of difficulty by not having it the same item. It's going to give three different items per time that the students are responding. And this will also increase in levels. Here's sub-level 21. We're gonna work with size plus noun and preposition plus noun. Our example will be touch the little bear under a hat. So once we show the picture plates, touch the little bear under a hat. 
Touch the big bear in a hat. Touch the little bear in a hat. Touch the big bear under a hat. So now we're adding just different elements to this auditory processing activity. So that's level one. So you'll notice the instructions start off simple and they get more complex and more difficult as we go along, as we increase our sub-levels. So level one, our blue book. So we move on to level two and level three, this is gonna be in our yellow book. Now level two is gonna target the many of the same 46 concepts in level one, but we're also gonna add conditional and temporal language concepts, again, using the language web frameworks. Now level two will have 25 sub-levels, and we also have level three that's going to include many of the same language concepts as level one and two, but this is going to provide 21 additional language concepts, and they're presented in longer and more complex command combinations. Now with level three, we're going to have 14 sub-levels in this one. Again, in level two, the book that we have is also going to have the summary of the AAI communication techniques. We're also going to include the page where we can determine our natural speaking rate. We include the home practice letter. And of course, like level one, we have our practice sheets. So let's take a look at a few examples from level two. With level two, you'll notice that we have our level indicated here in the top left. We also have sub-level 10, and then these are our concepts that we're targeting. This is size plus color plus singular plural, and size plus color plus singular plural. Our example for this is touch the jar with small blue triangles and a big red letter S. So once we're ready to begin, these are gonna be our prompts. We have this picture plate showing to the students, and we begin. Touch the jar with little blue circles and a big green square. The next one, touch the jar with a little blue triangle and small red letter S's. So of course, as you give that instruction, they'll respond appropriately for this. Uh, if we take a look at one of the level three examples, you'll notice that level three, they do get quite complex. So you'll notice this is our instruction page, which we have many instructions on this page. Again, our level, our sub-level, and our concepts that we're working on. And now we'll show the students the picture page, and we'll begin asking questions or giving directions. For example, touch all of the red shapes in the third row. Another one, touch all of the numbers in the fifth column. Another one, touch the number between the orange letter S and the purple number seven. So you'll see, as we increase the levels of difficulty, the instructions become longer and more complex, and the visual stimuli becomes complex too, so the students really have to focus on the instruction to be able to apply it to the picture and provide the correct answer. So this is, the, this is the processing program level one and level two and three, second edition. It's great for working with students that have difficulty with language processing or learning basic language structures or concepts, such as students with attention deficit disorder, uh, auditory processing disorders, autism, and even those students with cochlear implants. So if you'd like to learn more about the processing program, please visit our website, superduperinc.com, and even check out our Facebook page. We would love for you to share your thoughts and ideas on how you can use these products with your students.